any Chesney tickets? Okay, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say this is not working. Nope, nope. All right. Yeah. Well, you did it, I guess. I don't know what other outcome you could have expected. Now, where in the hell are the three dozen excited hillbillies when you need them? Yeah! Nope, 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 nope. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is that new redneck yoga, downward facing bubba. Was that nice and refreshing? It was cold. <laughs> Forget the ATV. I mean, that can be fixed. But he wasted a perfectly good beer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any bright twist. Go over. Okay, I think I'm doing that. The ATV only had cosmetic damage. Totally smudged its eyeliner. You done? Yeah. Hell, it ain't mine. Oh, and it's not yours? Even better. So whose is it? My buddies. Correction, it's your ex-buddies. Where's he at? Oh, old lady again. Spending time with the family like a loser. Not being awesome like us, that's for sure. Yeah! Oh. Ah. Ah. No, 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 no. All right? Yeah. In Petersburg, Alaska, our number nine dumbest motorhead sits behind the wheel of the Matanuska Ferry. Ladies and gentlemen, as we approach the dock, I want to thank you all for riding the Matanuska Ferry. Ah, Alaska. The fresh smell of the sea and two and a half hours of daylight. <sighs> That's living. Uh, Captain, you want to check the speed? I think we're coming in a little fast. Okay, we got a problem. Uh, the just brace for impact, please. I'll call you one, Captain. That pier and dock ain't moving. All crew members report to the main deck. I repeat, all crew members report to the main deck. You don't need an oh my gosh here for once in your life, you holy Wow. I hope nobody was in there. <laughs> nice cod. You nice cod. There's something I wanted to share with you. Nothing can stop us now. Barry! No need for the name calling! No! Barry! Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. The ferry suffers only minor damage, but puts a hole in the building and destroys the dock. The Alaska Marine Highway System claims the captain miscalculated the current and made the turn into port too quickly. Hey, driving a ferry is hard. It's not like you follow the exact same route back and forth every single day. Arkansas, just one L away from class. At the Rocktoberfest Mud Bog Racing, a driver has a few issues figuring out the course. Oh, watch out. Get a little hung up on that rock there. A little hung up. See if you get a fair tire up and over there. Woo! We are sitting, drinking, and watching other guys do stuff with trucks. Does it get any better? God, I hope so. What? No, I said this is great. Thanks for inviting me. Bad. I'm not sure. Don't worry, buddy. He's gonna go again. Wait, the same guy? He gets to go again? When does this thing end? When we run out of beers. <sighs> Give me another. Cheer and respect.
respond to motion? Because he's not really succeeding at anything right now. Let's see if we can get a safety crew down there and take care of this. Uh, folks, stand back here. Stand back from the smoke. You want anyone to get hurt? He'll be all right. He'll be all right. Is this driver the only person dumb enough to enter this race? I mean, he doesn't do very well, but it's hard to imagine anyone doing any better. All right, looks like we're back on track here. Watch your work yourself there, buddy. I want to go home now. This is, uh, not fun. <laughs> All right, now we're into the box lock. And he's going. It's slow going, but he is going, folks. Or he was going, I think he's stuck. I bet he wish he had doors on that Jeep now. I think I figured out your problem. You suck at this. You're welcome. All right, boys, we got to get him the hell out of here. we got other people trying to drive the course. Sport. This is even a sport? Nobody knows. Who cares? Woo! Let's get another, another one of those trucks to do the things where it breaks. I don't know this guy. Here it goes on the bottom of your oh, Too bad. Too bad. Our number six dumb driver is about to enter this supermarket in San Jose. Attention shoppers, it's a special event. Frozen orange juice says three for a dollar. Not the vitamin aisle. How are people going to pretend they're extending their lives? Oh, my God. We lost a lot of good bread that day. Attention shoppers, it's a special event for the Oh, my God. I'd be grabbing all the loose toothpaste and orange juice I could. I'm just saying, you know, that stuff all adds up. I was in the dairy aisle, and I was like, boom. I know. Let's take bets. Who do you think did this? An old lady or an old guy in a hat? Oh, okay. Sir, are you okay? No, I'm okay. Just, just take it, take it. I, I, I didn't know what was happening. Yeah. Just be careful. Old guy in a hat. Ding, 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 ding. Ma'am, where are the fiber supplements? The driver claims he accidentally hit the gas instead of the brake. You know, I always get gas and brake confused. I probably shouldn't be allowed to drive. Oh, my God. At number 20 on our countdown, the annual Pikes Peak Hill Climb. The course runs 12 and a half miles up twisting roads to the mountain summit. 14,000 feet above sea level. Hey, you know what would be real fun? If we had the fastest race possible as high up as we can do it. What do you mean, dangerous? Racer Jeremy Foley and his co-driver approach the bend at mile 11. Hey, guys, you guys are doing a fantastic job up here. You're in great position. The road is a bit slick right now, though, so... The guardrail, truly a modern marvel. And here comes Jeremy Foley. Oh, my God. That's going to set him back a bit, folks. Hey, are, are you going to pick that up? You, you left your car all over the hill. You guys doing a fantastic job up here. You're in great position. What am I even here for? Dude, I need you to navigate, okay? You just tell me if there's any, like, weird, unexpected turns coming up, all right? The road is a bit slick right now, though, so... Oh, Just beware of that. Oh, that's way worse. Incredibly, the driver and co-driver walk away with only minor injuries. I stub my toe, I can't walk. How the f did they walk away from that? Well, I learned something today. Sometimes dangerous curves doesn't just mean sweet boobs and ass. Hey, doesn't that pickup match the description of a hit and run from earlier today? Take that, coppers! Was the guy 
guy from the hit and run. Because he just did it again. Police supposed to be chasing him. Where are you going, sunshine? Where are you going? Come here, come here. Somebody needs a little love tap. Woo! I'm coming for you, compass. He's gaining on us. Hurry up! I'm trying. Wait, were we chasing him at one point? Somebody needs a spanking. That turns me on. I feel like this guy's no fear window decal is implied. It, I give up. The run part of the hit and run, not working for you. No, 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 damn it, no! All right, time out, time out, time out. He was sort of managing to elude police, but not a stationary railing. I had never seen a flip like that in my life, and I've seen some pretty good flips, all right? Charged with hit and run, DUI, aggravated fleeing, and aggravated battery. Well, look who it is, Mr. Hit and Run. Yeah, you're gonna be hitting prison and running from shower time. Good one. <laughs> no, 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 damn it. All right, just gonna go ahead and say it. I'm sorry. Of course, the USA has gloriously dumb motorheads, too. Okay, come on, are we up on the sidewalk, please? like this citizen of Atlanta. Wow. Well, let's put it this way, David. You first drew my attention. And the car? <laughs> no, the car don't have anything to do with it. Evidently, he thinks cops sit around looking for dudes in chicks' cars and pull them over. Reckless operation is why I'm stopping you. Okay, how much you had a drink tonight, David? I smell the odor of alcohol and beverages coming from your person. Two beers. Two beers? Yeah. Of course, they were both 48 ounces, so they packed a punch. Take this picture gum out for me for just a moment, please. That's it out right here. That'll be fine, sir. The bird will eat it. Place your mouth on the end of this tube for me. I want you to exhale outward until I take this off. Hold it for about five to eight seconds. Blow hard for me. Blow, 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 blow harder. Blow. If I had a dollar for every time I've heard that. David, why are you driving tonight, sir? I'm trying to get home, sir. Besides that, you think you should be driving? Me personally? No, David. Uh, you uh, generally. Was, was mankind intended to drive? I mean, if God had wanted us to drive, uh, wouldn't he have given us wheels instead of arms and legs? I'm sorry, I don't feel like I am like intoxicated enough to drive, sir, honestly. Oh, red flag! Listen, officer, I'm not intoxicated enough to drive. Two more beers, and I'll be cool. This time, I consider you a less safe driver to be on the roads in the state of Georgia. You're gonna be under arrest for DUI. But before David is taken downtown... Have a seat in my car for me, sir. It's delicate. It's a toe. Like, I'm saying, like, it'll, like, scrape really bad if, like, you don't know how to tow it right. Two-word review. Douchebag! Careful what you do with the car. Hey, that bird's eating my gum. And now, number 12, the only mental crash in our countdown. All right, we're traveling from Logan to Boise, and I just proposed a math question to my beautiful wife, Chelsea. What? If you are traveling 80 miles per hour, how long does it take you to go 80 miles? Well, if I run the mile in about nine minutes. Wait, how do you start out with how fast you run? But that's when I'm out of shape. When I'm really in shape, I'm like <laughs> seven minutes is when I'm like really in shape. And that takes me a mile. My guess would be she's another Yale graduate. Think about 80 miles per hour. You are driving faster than a minute a mile. Yeah, totally. So it, I would whack 80 in half, and that's 40. I'm guessing this girl has to do a lot of whacking to stay in this relationship. Think about the term miles per hour. MPH. If I say I'm driving 80 miles per hour, that means I'm going to go 80 miles in an hour. No, you are not. Shh, shh, shh. 
Let's listen to him. Okay, so if I'm going 60 miles per hour? Then you're probably, it'll take about 30 minutes. <laughs> I would just cut it right in half. <laughs> hey everyone, look how stupid my wife is. Two things are important to me. One, running a seven minute mile, and two, being humiliated in public. The answer is one hour. One no, hour. You cut that in half. There's a lot more than a mile a minute. He's <laughs> not filming. Outside Chicago, a few friends gather to practice a motorcycle trick. The tank stoppy. Yeah. Tank stoppy. Check it out. Is it not enough to just take your motorcycle for a pleasurable drive? James is about to attempt his first. Oh, this is gonna be easy! Tank not stoppy. That's what I call this. So you didn't do the bike? Awesome. I'm gonna go again, man. One more time! Dude, you got away with it once, with no damage. You doing it again? Second time! See, that's why you don't do that, James. Watch and learn, mother... It's a shame, because a well-executed tank stoppy is really a magical dream that you want to be remembered for. Guys, um, are we having a moment of silence for him already, or do we want to check a pulse first? I love the dramatic attempts to stand up. I can do this. I can do this. I'll be OK. Oh. Despite having the wind knocked out of him, James and his bike suffer only minor scrapes. He'll live to tank Stoppy again. Are people's lives so boring that you would do something on a motorcycle that you could potentially snap your neck and be paralyzed for life? I'm a stuntman, yeah! <laughs> I don't get it. I'm OK. No, I'm not. No, 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 no. In Indiana, police pull over a driver with a broken headlight. What's the problem? Huh? What's the problem? Have you anything to drink tonight? No. Nothing to drink? Nothing. Okay. I see if you smell something in the vehicle. Well, that's probably my bourbon-scented car deodorizer. Want to step back here? Out the car? Yes. Are you ready to begin? Yeah. Okay, begin. You know, you're holding on to the vehicle. You got to come away from the vehicle. You gotta get your hand off the vehicle. Okay, I right, grab the car, stop the earth from spinning, and you're mad. Take it off, and you're mad. I'm starting to believe that you were prejudiced against drunk people. Officer. I'm gonna follow my thing with your eyes and eyes only. Don't move your head. You're moving your head. You're moving your head, bud. Nah, I'm moving my head because I'm drunk. Don't move your head. Right there. Are you gonna do the task or not? Well, I did. That guy just came here, though. That's all. I don't care about the guy. Okay. Really? That guy somehow made you drunk by walking by? Is he some kind of booze fairy? Hell yeah, Mr. Policeman. You keep these streets safe. Sucks to be you, little dockers. We you take the certified test? I don't know what a certified test is. You go to a breathalyzer. Above the point of weight, that's DUI. And what happens? Then you place under arrest for DUI. All right, where's the option where I don't get arrested? The test of what? Test test me whether you're intoxicated or not. And if it's over 08, what happens? You go to jail. And then what happens? You eat food, you gotta poop in front of other people, you might get your ass kicked a few times. You know, jail stuff. Are you gonna take the test? So what happens? I just told you what happened. Did you repeat it? Yeah, I, th I think I'm getting the rules here. But just just to clarify, is there any way you could, like, maybe grade me on a curve? Turn around, put your hands behind your back. I mean, what happens to me on that? Turn around, put your hands behind your back. Okay. Turns out the driver is Ohio State Representative Robert Mecklenburg. Release your hand. Okay. He is arrested and charged with DUI and has since resigned from office. I am really glad that Congress has finally reached a bipartisan agreement to get down. And if it's over 08, what happens? You go to jail. 
And then what happens? We'll see here. There you go. And, uh, oh, oh, gosh, oh, my. Holy cow. Woo. Help. And I thought I had bad gas. That is disgusting. Oh, cheaper street. Oh, my goodness gracious. How do you do that? Oh, call fire. Oh, I'll just take the nozzle out and just spray fire everywhere. Okay, that's good. Is he crazy with the price of gas these days? Oh, leather fruit and holiday. Oh, my goodness. Help. You know what they say. Stop, drop, and run. Sweet licorice from a candy store. It's a gas fire. I guess those orange squares are for, like, face recognition. Once the fire breaks out, the computer's like, ah, I don't know. This looks important. I don't understand error. Help. Hey, there's a fire on my truck for flipping sake. Oh, don't rush to put out the fire, guys. There's only a 5,000-gallon fuel tank under that pump. Hey, Renee, did you repair the sprinkler system by the tanks? Oh, yeah. Oh, totally. OK. Authorities finally arrive and extinguish the flames. Turns out the metal gas can on the truck's plastic bed liner is a perfect recipe for static electricity. Cottonwood! I actually did not know that about plastic bed liners and metal gas cans, but you know what? I don't have to. I don't own either of those things. What's this guy's excuse? Move! Salt sticks and pick up sticks! Help! Outside a Maryland post office, a letter carrier returns from his morning shift. Hey, Jimmy, how are you? Good, Bob. How you doing? I'm uh, doing okay, you know. Uh -huh. Kids are good. Uh, uh, the wife is good. Uh, your truck, What's that? Your truck! Oh, my God. Oh, no, 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 no! office is so efficient that even when their drivers take a break, the trucks keep working. Oh, no. Please, down again. Down again, please. All right. Oh, God. Special delivery. Oh, my God. That's my car. Oh, is it? Oh, my God. You hit my car. Hey, this is on you, lady. If you didn't want your car hit, you shouldn't have parked it 500 feet from me. Yeah, good. Send the fire truck. Can I have you all stand back from the accident, please? Thank you. Oh, and the police are here. Yeah, he hit a parked car. Why not send the National Guard in? Waste more tax money. Both vehicles suffer only minor damage. And this is the problem with using old-fashioned technology. It's called email, people. It saves lives. Go again, please. All right. All right. Oh, my God. You hit my car. I know. A severe tornado warning is in effect in Massachusetts, and residents are anxiously tracking the storm's path. If you're in the Springfield, Massachusetts area, you've got to take cover. This sucks! But two adventurous souls decide to ignore the warnings and drive straight towards the tornado. Tornado. Legit. We're going to die. We're driving in the eye of the storm. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. We're gonna die. We're driving into the eye of the storm. You guys have summed it up, so why are you doing it? This is insane. I'm holy Damn, I'm so happy I'm filming this right now. That's nuts. Get the out of here. Seriously, get the out. Ha ha ha, we're gonna die. Ha ha ha, now we're gonna, holy we're gonna die. Damn, the ceiling, look. Oh my god. Roof. The roof. It's not a ceiling. Oh my god. Stop. I'll get you. And your little car too. Oh my god. Stop. Drive. I want to see like the next 10 minutes. When it's awkward. Do you want to talk about the name you called me? Because I, I thought we were buddies, and then <clears throat> you, you called me a The tornado subsides, and the lucky fools are unharmed. I can't believe I got that on film. Oh, my car's not up. Oh, I'm going to get out and make sure people are OK. Yeah. 
Uh, you know, I wouldn't sweat the car damage too much. You survived. I think you're already in the bonus zone for today. These guys are both dumb asses, okay? Holy <laughs> Dan, I'm so happy I'm filming this right now. Michigan police notice a pickup truck driving erratically. Pull the truck over the side of the road. Pull the truck over to the side. Put your foot back in the truck and pull your truck over to the side of the road. Sir! Emergency brake! Pull your emergency brake now! The truck has no brakes, so the driver tries to stop it using his foot. I do it with my bicycle, why can't I do it with the two-ton truck? I don't understand. Son of a bitch! Are you wearing boots? Okay. Because otherwise this could get a little dangerous. It's Michigan, man. Just keep on driving until you hit an auto parts factory. All right. It was either that or throw an anchor out the back. Why didn't he think of that earlier? Now that's the walk of a man who was going places in this world. I'd like to order some brake pads, uh, size 11 and a half, preferably in a loafer. The hot-footed motorhead is taken into custody. He is charged with reckless driving and driving with a suspended license. Doesn't that rockhead know how to stop a car? You gotta throw both your feet on the ground at once. You sure said a rock full, Fred. <laughs> let's get out of here. I want to go shopping on Rockdale Drive. Then let's stop at Baskin Rockin's for the kids. Yay, go Bam, bam. And this show has really gotten stupid. But it's a living. Uh. Ah. Hello, dum dum. Uh. <laughs> in Minnesota, a crane operator carefully places a two ton pool in a homeowner's backyard. Oh, that is amazing. Look at that thing, man. It's the land of 10. Thousand lakes, and you're buying a pool? Wow. Hey, Bill, Billy, don't get under that. Don't get under it. Is it just me, or does it seem like there's a better way to get a pool installed? Watch out for the chimney. Ooh, this is not gonna turn out good. I can tell. Hey, bring it down. Bring it down. Here you go. going in today is what you're saying? I should probably put some pants on. I have a feeling this is not going to improve property values. You all right? Everybody okay? Yep. Yep. You know what that reminds me of? Me. Damn it! Damn it! It's, it's fine the pool wasn't installed today. I just had a big lunch, and you know, you're not supposed to go swimming until half an hour after I sue you. The homeowner decides not to sue. The crane company cleans up the mess at an estimated cost of $100,000. Okay, we screwed up, but it is kind of a crappy ranch house. You know, I shouldn't do this. I'm too much of an architectural snob. <laughs> One, baby. Instead of selling an old Jeep, no, no, no. <laughs> a group of dumb motorheads decide they're going to destroy it. Do it again! There you go.
Hey, I'm here from the Blind Buddies of Branson Charity. Yeah, I'm here to pick up the used 95 Jeep. <laughs> you know what? I'm good. I'm good on the Jeep. Thanks, though. <laughs> Dude, you <laughs> this thing up. <laughs> you all right? <laughs> Tell me you got that on camera. Man, I want to show that to my high school guidance counselor. See who the loser is now. <laughs> Oh my god. That was awesome. <laughs> that was the coolest thing I've seen in my life. <laughs> that was the coolest thing you've ever seen in your life? Man, you're gonna freak out when you see Avatar. Oh my god. <laughs> you broke that echo in half. Look at that bitch. Holy <laughs> How is it that hillbillies always have extra cars lying around for the sole purpose of ruining them? <laughs> In Las Vegas, an amateur mechanic is customizing his Mazda Miata with a more powerful engine. Oh. Help! Hey! Hey, listen, I'm no mechanic, but it looks like this guy's doing a great job. building a car he's really good at building a fire oh make a wish oh. 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 okay what do you do in a fire think uh grab the gasoline and then run with it What? Eyebrows are overrated, kid. The mechanic is able to extinguish the flames, but suffers minor burns. I'm guessing this mechanic's Yelp reviews aren't stellar. In New Hampshire, a father takes his sons out on a lake to test out their new manta ray, a water raft with wings. Oh my God. Followed by something horribly unsafe. Dude, that's insane. It's nuts. He's got to come down. Yeah, you have to slow it down, man. Want to go faster? No problem. Dude, I think he's freaking out up there, man. He's oh, oh no. Who doesn't want a water toy that comes with a death and dismemberment waiver? After being plucked from the water, the injured son confronts his father. You gotta do it again now. Oh, that kills, Dad. Are you kidding me? This is a dad with enough sons that he's not actually worried about accidentally killing one. You alright, Steve? Yeah. yeah. What did you lose? Did you lose your win? Yeah, Dad, I lost my win. And everything else that was in my bowels at the time. It was scary. I knew I was gonna fall. I told you to slow down. I didn't see any signal. I, I can't, are you kidding me? Hey, son, if I slowed down every time I was told to, your mother wouldn't have got pregnant with you. Later that day, Steve shows off his battle scars. <laughs> hey, you can show us your injuries without twerking. Oh, 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 no. Meet Shirley. She's getting her very first dirt bike lesson. Oh, First rule of biking, wear your leathers, espadrilles, sandals. You okay? Oh, okay. Don't worry. Here I am. Oh, crap. In the battle of dirt bike versus wheelchair, uh, dirt bike still undefeated. I'm sorry. Here I am. Oh, boy, 
okay. I am okay. I am okay. It's okay. You think this is the first time grandma's been rammed? Nuh-uh. Girlie, I am fine. Okay. Yeah, Girlie, I fell off the bench here. I crawled around here trying to get my ass <laughs> You know, last week, I was run over by a truck, remember? And look at me, I'm fine. Can somebody get my mother off the ground? How about this? How about I pick up the camera and you pick up your own mother? Get the wheelchair. Oh, I got it. This other side, the other side. The other side. The other side. Please be her husband. Please be her husband. Either way, alert the authorities. Okay, I'm up. <laughs> the whole time you're facing down behind the door. There's dumb, there's idiots, and then there's freaks. Uh, 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 uh. These are the freaks. I'm sorry. You okay? In New Mexico, police pull over a suspected drunken driver. Driver exit the vehicle. What do you say? What? <gasps> driver exit the vehicle. Driver, exit the vehicle. One more time, please! Driver, exit the vehicle. I'm starting to think he might not exit the vehicle. Never exit the vehicle the first time when the cop tells you. It makes you look desperate. Driver, exit the vehicle. Uh, oh. What is that sound? Do you have an old-timey payphone in your car? Operator. Put me through the Klondike 440. Yeah, we got a wheel man, belly full of hooch here. Funny juice, Irish bath water. I'm talking booze, see? Well, when you gotta go, you gotta go. I've been to jail, and you don't want to wait to go to the bathroom in jail. I think I would have pissed in my pants and kept going. Oh, oh yes. Oh, my eyes are water. on the ground. Oh, that's so good. I'm not getting on the ground. There's piss all over it. Yeah, you enjoy the show? I'm back you here. Perverts. I'm back here. You come back here, bitch. This is a great combo, peeing and then giving someone a double bird. I'm into it. You all suck, but I just pissed on the road! Woo! Uh, the truck doesn't get far before it runs over a set of spike strips. All right. Put your hands up. What's up? Yeah, from now on you'll be doing your urination from behind bars. I'm old-timey, like my phone, capiche? Yeah, I got it. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? First the driver shows the cops his beanbags. Then the cops show him theirs. Right in the kidney. The driver is arrested and taken to the hospital for treatment. He later pleads guilty to DWI and aggravated fleeing. More like aggravated peeing. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> Whatever. In Long Island, New York, where the traffic is heavy, a deputy sheriff patrolled in his Chevy. Looks good. While slow-moving drivers were angry and prickly, Come on! the HOV lane moved along pretty quickly. HOV! Then something quite odd caught the deputy's eye. Huh? A strange-looking girl in a car that whizzed by. Whee! The driver, he noticed, a typical lady, had a passenger who was a wee bit shady. Her posture was stiff, her skin a weird hue. Her face never changed, and her hair was strange, too. Huh. And although the weather was cloudy and gray, the woman wore shades as she traveled that day. Oh. So the cop hit the siren and waylaid the pair and said to the driver, Ma'am, who's your friend there? She's not feeling well, said the one at the wheel. But the sheriff looked closer and sussed out the deal. What the hell? 
The passenger silently sitting beside her was a mannequin dressed up to look like a rider. <laughs> the driver had done this, now it seemed plain, so that she could drive in the HOV lane. Well, I am a senior. She thought that this trick would get her ahead. But it got her two points and a big fine instead. Ah, f*** me. So, Long Island drivers, you'd best learn the ropes. Riding with dummies is strictly for dopes. <sighs> At number 11, our next dumb motorhead comes to us from North Carolina. So there's a truck getting towed, and it looks like it's coming at us, and my wife's asleep. So we're going to see if we can scare her. Babe, wake up, there's a truck! <laughs> <laughs> Who's got two thumbs and is never getting laid again? This guy. <laughs> You don't need a truck, like, coming at you to scare a person who's asleep. They're asleep. You just go, ah, and it scares the crap out of them. Babe, wake up, there's a truck. <laughs> <laughs> My dad was hilarious, is what the kids will say to their stepdad someday. <laughs> it's not the truck. She's screaming because she's still married to this ass. <laughs> I'm sorry, it was funny. My truck. It was getting towed. The camera may cut off, but I'm pretty sure that next mile is the longest mile of his life. Hey, wake up, there's a truck! <laughs> a woman in Fargo, North Dakota, calls into a radio show to voice a complaint. I wanted to voice my opinion on something that's been bothering me for a really long time. Okay. Over the past few years, I've been involved in three separate car accidents involving deer. Each of these incidents occurred shortly after I saw a deer crossing sign on the highway. Um, What's the issue? Why are we mm -hmm. encouraging deer to cross at the interstate? I don't get it. It's such a high traffic area. Um. I mean, it's you think they would put deer crossings maybe, you know, in smaller towns, maybe like at a school crossing. It would be a safer place for them to cross. You know, deer crossings aren't telling deer that it's safe to cross there. It's just more of like an alert for drivers so they know it's like a high deer population. The government put the deer crossings there. They can direct the deer population anywhere they want to by moving that deer crossing sign. So you'd like to see these signs move somewhere safer? Right, yeah. I think school crossings is a good idea. We you know, will right. spread the word, okay? All right, thanks. Bye. <laughs> uh. Ohio police are in pursuit of a stolen dump truck. Woo! I'm seeing a dog in a compass! Because really, who doesn't see a dump truck and immediately think, man, sweet ride? Yeah, son, check it out! Yeah, that's right! It's a dump truck, bitch! Pull the dump truck over to the side of the road. Police versus dump truck. Who's gonna win? Sure thing, officer! Right away! <laughs> Ooh! I think I have secondhand whiplash. Oh, that spark don't it! Woo! Sorry! <laughs> Later! He started driving backwards because driving forwards was just going too well for him. I see you following me! Woo! Okay, watch out, you want to stop him. Oh, son of a bitch got me. Well, I'm driving whoops, in a dump truck on the Grand Highway, and I'm getting all the car whoops better in my way. If this was Grand Theft Auto, he'd get 300,000 bonus points for that. Come on, get out of here and shake it up. You're crazy. Pussies. My adventure continues. Woo! Dude, when your friends bail out, you should too. 52 miles later, police finally pull over and apprehend the driver. All right, game over, you win. They discover the perp is only 17 years old. So what now, guys? What, are you going to take me home or what? Shut up. Oh, this kid is so grounded. He is arrested for vandalism, fleeing police, assault with a deadly weapon, and driving with a suspended license. Boys will be boys. He loves trucks. <laughs> Probably got a little carried away. Anyway, he's my baby, and I love him. Raise your kids better. Thanks. Oh, damn! That is going to leave a mark! We kick off the 
countdown at the annual Armed Forces Day Parade, where these Shriners take to the streets. Yeah! Woo! Guns are awesome! Look at these little guys. <laughs> yeah, what's up, dude? Hey, guys. You ever think people are laughing at us and not with us? You know how they say how guys who drive sports cars are overcompensating? Well, these guys must have huge penises. Yeah, Shriners! Woo! Yeah, Shriners, they're awesome. I love them, too. Oh, my God. Did you just cast some kind of spell on that guy? Oh, that guy totally fez planted. Hey, looks like that Shriner's going to have a shiner. <laughs> Seriously, get him some ice. Yeah, I know. I love the Shriners, too. They're... Oh, my God. Did you just cast some kind of a spell on that guy? How did that happen? Yeah, can we get an ambulance? Preferably, like, a regular-sized one. The Shook Up Shriner is taken to the hospital, bringing the Armed Forces Day Parade to a screeching halt. That was, that was crazy. Wait, are you okay, bud? I'm okay, I'm okay. Grab my rifle, Private. We got Nazis to kill. Yeah, I love the Shriners too. Oh my God! The ball game's over in Philadelphia when fans encounter a motorhead mystery. It's a golf mobile. <laughs> you stop it. You stop it. Open up the freaking car door and shut the thing off. Red line. What? what? Somebody in there. What are they doing? <laughs> Maybe you want to spend less time filming it and more time getting the guy out of the car? Those are my boys, Philadelphians. Just the city of brotherly love has been dumbed down really bad. Dude, who won? Any idea? Dude. 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 You're blowing up your car, man. He's the worst designated driver. And that's why they call me Sparky. Whoa, check out the time. That story took a while. Well, I'm sure you're all still with me, right, listeners? I turned it off. <laughs> Done. Out. Somewhere, there's some girl who's attracted to this dude. He's so cute when he goes to games because he gets so sweepy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dude. Oh. <laughs> so let me understand this. You've had a recurring dream where a man is sleeping inside you? I mean, that could mean a lot of things. Uh, all of them sexual. The car suffers a blown engine. The driver, a nasty hangover. Sadly, that's one of the most responsible drunk guys we've seen on this show. He got an NDUI, not driving under the influence. Aww. Whatever. Pull the vehicle over to the right, please. Driver, pull the vehicle over to the right. The reason I'm pulling you over because you stopped at the green light and you're only going like five miles an hour. How bad of a driver do you have to be to get pulled over for stopping? Do you have any physical impairment? Uh, I have, um, at times I have a, I have to use my cane uh, at times. Okay. So is that yes or no? I don't know. I only have to use my cane sometimes, like when I've had a few. I understand where she's coming from. My handicap really fires up around sobriety tests, too. Oh my god, is that Miss Cleo from the Psychic Friends Network? Alright, when I tell you to, you're gonna take nine heel toe steps just like this. One, two, three, all the way to nine. Trust me counting, man. Was that it? Was that nine? I'm sorry, I'm really bad at math. Does she know the line she's walking is on the ground and not like a circus wire? Oh, you need to put your hands on your back. Yeah. Put your hands on your back. 
I have done nothing. I've come from church. I don't even drink. So wait, church made her feel like this? Do I think I'm ready to convert? It's all a conspiracy. Give me my pocketbook. Give me my pocketbook. I have my anti-conspiracy medication in there. Turns out the driver is the mayor of nearby Atlantic Beach. I would elect this woman just off the strength of how she says pocketbook. Give me my pocketbook. I didn't do anything. The mayor is arrested on suspicion of DUI. Why are you me? Her blood alcohol content registers at zero percent, but prescription painkillers are found in her purse. This is what happens when you elect someone who would wear a moo moo to be your mayor. This is all a conspiracy. Give me my pocketbook. <laughs> In Tennessee, a security camera picks up this woman rushing into a convenience store. Oh my god, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, that was close. You almost hit the ice cream. It's all right, everyone. The ice cream's okay. The woman starts to panic as the driver emerges. Yo, man, where you going? Stay I just away. want to talk to you. That's it. Yeah. Turns out she and the man are a couple. Dude, what did your woman do to make you that mad? Did she use your razor again? A lot of people, when they watch this clip, they see a criminal. I see true love. I can't even get my boyfriend to follow me on Twitter. Yo, yo, heads up, everyone! I would love to know more about their emotional story. What brought them to this point in time? The driver nonchalantly walks out of the store. I'll call you. And then... See you later. Steals an SUV. What the hell's that? A friend truck? Oh, come on, man! How many times can he crash in a day? This is perfect that you ran into a bread truck. All the damage you just caused, it's gonna cost you a lot of dough. A bread truck? Brilliant. Nobody will be expecting a bread truck. What the hell? Damn it! Oh, come on! Why would you drive into a bread truck like that? Are you that mad at carbs? Police arrive and arrest Eric Whitaker and charge him with assault, theft, and reckless endangerment. There's a guy who has a to-do list. Kill wife, injure pedestrian, ruin store, steal car. Got a lot to do today. The number one dumbest motorhead on our countdown comes to us from Texas on New Year's Eve. The reason you're being stopped is when you made the corner, you made it real wide, then you almost hit oh. the truck coming at you. Uh, because I ain't drunk. Yes, ma'am. Okay. okay, let me check you real quick. Oh, okay. No, I'm not drunk. Okay. No. Go ahead and close your door. Okay. You know, I ain't drunk at all. The best way to prove you're sober is to say, I ain't drunk, over and over and over again. Are you familiar with the alphabet from A to Z? Yeah. Okay, why don't you recite it for me? Okay, A, B, C. Oh, all the way? No, A, B, C is good. That's all we need. Just three letters. You nailed it. A, B, C, D, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, F, O, T, Q, R, S, T, U, D, V, R, S, Y, T, U, V, W, S, Y, T, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, U, S, D, V, U, W, S, Y, T. Okay. Yeah, I'm not drunk at all. pretty good. Confidence. Sell it with confidence. Why don't you try that one more time? Okay, A, B, C, D, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, F, M, N, O, P, Q, U, R, S, T, U, V, W, S, Y, Z, U, L, M, M, O, P, Q, U, R, S, Y, Z. I mean, I've named all the letters. Let's just bring back my favorites for a curtain call. L, D, W, Y, N, Z, U, S, A, B, E, T. I'm not drunk. Despite her claims to the contrary, the driver is arrested for DUI. I'm sitting there, you know, trying to think of the ABCs myself and, and then doing the one, two, three, and ABC. I always just crack up because I'm not drunk. I can't do it. Now to Utah, where a dad takes his whole family along in a four-wheeling competition. Okay, now we got the green laws, everyone. Family of four is taking on the course. So these parents just take conventional wisdom and responsible parenting and wipe their asses with it, I guess. Bill Carroll tells me that Peggy Greenlaw is a homemaker. Uh, her husband, Tom, works in finance. So... Why is it that certain people just insist on making their truck climb things? 
And by certain people, I mean white. I don't know if you ask me, I think they're actually doing a pretty good job of this for, uh, for a family crew. Uh, That's gonna avoid the warranty. This is why none of us want to go on the family vacation, Dad. Hold on, please. Oh. Ah, okay. Ah. Hey, kids, do you guys want to almost get killed today? All right, get in the car. No helmet. Oh, no. Hang on. Now what are we gonna do about the picnic? Oh, gosh. Oh, let's, uh... That's how they clean the fast food wrappers out of their truck. Really? Your wife said it was okay to take this little detour with the kids? Uh, the sick of the children first. The good news is this happens in Utah. So even if they lose a couple of siblings in the crash, there's probably like ten more. No one in the family is seriously injured. I think this is a family who should do like all their driving off the road. Like keep them away from the rest of us. Okay, let's, let's go ahead and make that the last one of the day. Vashon Island, Washington. Tom is fed up with a local speeder, so he decides to capture the man's crimes on video. No. Mm -hmm. He clocks the offender at double the speed limit. Mm -hmm. Who now made you a traffic cop? Tom catches up to him at a traffic light. <laughs> hey, Go ahead. Following me? Go ahead. Following me? Go ahead. You want Danish on your windshield? I'm happy to do it. I'm happy. Here we go. Mm -hmm. You like that? Mm -hmm. Oh that. my god, is that a Danish? You are destroying a perfectly good Danish? Where's the police? You know, it just goes to show you, if you take the law into your own hands, there will be repercussions. Sugary, delicious repercussions. There you go, butternuts. How's that? Huh? Yeah. Puss in boots? You like it? And there's the license plate, thank you. Sure. Listen, idiot. Yeah. This time it's a Danish. Mm -hmm. The next time I see you in your do-goody camera, <laughs> I'm going knish on your ass. Go ahead. Get a light! Mm-hmm. Undeterred, Tom follows the errant driver to the Vashon Island Ferry, where the man's aggression escalates. Come on, baby face. Roll your window down, let's go. That's gotta stink. Baby face. Ooh. I have some things I want to say to you. Mm -hmm. About your love of driving. This is one man you do not want to fight. Tom escapes to the safety of the ferry where he discovers that his nemesis is a ferry worker. This is why you should probably be careful who you throw pastry at on an island with 14 people on it. You might run into each other. The vigilante turns the videotape over to the Department of Transportation, who placed the ferry worker on paid administrative leave. They pay him, but he actually doesn't have to go to work. Can I get the same deal if I throw a Danish Tanya? I swear to God, I'll do it. Hey! Those things can be dangerous. You better watch out. <laughs> the roadside DUI stop provides an excellent opportunity for dumb motorheads across the land to shine. Sir. And sure enough, there's number one on our countdown, swerving into view in West Virginia. The reason I stopped you is some people called in on you and said you weren't driving too well. Then I checked your speed at 95 miles an hour, and then as I got up behind you, you're weaving. Any reason for all that? Or I know that have you urinated yourself, or are you sure? That's really the quickest sobriety test possible. Question one, did you pee yourself? What is this all on the funny then? I know how it looks, but this is not urine. Uh, I have extremely sweaty balls. What's all down the front of your pants here? I don't think that's grammatical. How much alcohol have you had to drink today? Oh, Just one wine? Yeah. Really? That's some strong Chardonnay, dude. He's so wasted, he's actually become sophisticated. I believe... One line. Just walk back here to my cruiser, sir. I hate to see him after two wines. 
Stand hill to toe. When I tell you to go, I need you to walk nine heel to toe steps down, nine heel to toe steps back. Hey, instead of this heel to toe test, can you give me the test where I just have to stand still for nine seconds? All right, so let me get this straight, officer. If he aces this next part of the test, you're going to let him go? Go when you're ready. You okay? Yeah. The man is arrested and charged with a DUI. If you piss yourself when you saw the cop, you are going to yourself when you see where you're going next. Okay? Yeah. Get freaking over her! You guys need to get over her! No! Stop! They are people of the earth, but they are a pain in the ass, those buggies. that this cop has a very professional tone. Stop your freaking buggy! Stop your freaking buggy! You guys, I asked you to stop like five times! I cannot hey. hear stuff hey. the world's a loud devil hey. engine! Yeah, pay no attention to the modern devil woman. You're doing just fine. Hey. You'll have your buggy license in no time. You guys need to stop! You shouldn't be trying to outrun the cops if you know at some point your vehicle will have to take a shit. Oh, now they're pulled over. Let's see what they got to say here. What? What's the problem? Why didn't you guys stop? Why are you not listening to me? I need to talk to you. Where did the other guy go? You need to come here with me. Come here. It's never occurred to me to give a cop the silent treatment, but it kind of works. You have to stop when police are after you. <laughs> For what reason did you have to suffer me? You were not pulling over. Do you know the straw hat law? What the f*** is the straw hat law? I tried to look up the straw hat law, but apparently the Amish have not put it on the internet. Our laws are more important than your straw hat laws. Hey, straw hat law fan. I'll give you a straw up right up your ass. I ought to use that the next time I get pulled over. It turns out there is no straw hat law, and the driver is cited for obstructing an officer. They weren't obstructing an officer. They just weren't going to take orders from no woman wearing pants. Taint natural.